And I want to show you a clip now from the mainstream media of, of how awful they are. Just watch. Just watch and observe. Doctor, I, I look, the, the picture you paint is, is one of devastation. You'll know that the Israeli military say that they have killed and detained hundreds of Hamas uh, militants within the Al-Shifa complex. Do you know if Hamas were there and were fighting with the Israelis? I, I, I am just shocked that we're still having this conversation. They executed tens of people point blank, including one of our colleagues, Dr. Ahmed Khalilati, who's a very experienced plastic surgeon, him and his mother, who's also a mm -hmm. physician. They executed people point blank. I, I'm, I, and, and, and including many of our colleagues who've been detained now, we haven't heard back from them. Previous students of mine detained, young doctors detained. We don't know if they're dead or alive. They have been gone for over a hundred days. So to say that this is a strategic targeting of Hamas is an insult to our intellect and our humanity. This is, yeah. th this is a destruction of people who heal. This is a direct targeting of healthcare workers. I just want to paint a, a very brief picture of, of, of what healthcare workers are telling me there. They're saying that when they leave the hospital, civilians give them civilian clothing because wearing scrubs is sticking a target sticker on their back. That is how systematically healthcare has. Do you understand what she just said? I'll, I'll let her finish the 20 seconds, but do you understand what she just said? She said that when her students leave the hospital, they're dressed as doctors, right? Civilians give them clothes, different clothes, so they can hide that they are doctors because when the Israelis see a doctor, they kill the doctors. It's, it's bad to be dressed as a doctor because you are a target to the Israelis. That's how evil the Israelis are. Being targeted. And frankly, you know, in the last 24 hours, what we've seen from Al-Shifa Hospital, what we've seen from Al-Aqsa Hospital, yeah. and what I worry is coming to the remaining hospitals of, Gaza, of the Gaza Strip because it has been the pattern and we will not ignore it. Okay. is a direct and systematic targeting of health care that is unjustifiable. It, it is unjustifiable. And the fact that he, he asks her this ridiculous question, again, this is another class now. Let me give you a short class in journalism. When the, when the mainstream media ask a question that is framed like this, what they're doing is they're doing Israel's job of spreading propaganda. So they don't say, can you tell us what happened in Al Shippa Hospital? They say, is it true that there's Hamas in the hospital? Right? Like that, that you know, the Israelis, they were just killing Hamas people, right? What does Hamas mean? What do you mean? A Hamas uh, judge or a, a politician? Or do you mean a Qassam fighter from the military wing? I mean, th this is the first question. Also, what, what, what fighters? There are no fighters in the hospital. This is a hospital. It's a, it, it's a hospital that is now, I mean, I can't call it one because it's been reduced to rubble. It used to be a hospital, rather. But you, you see how they, they try to, like, put the seed in your mind. They plant the seed in your mind that, oh, well, you know, maybe, maybe the guest is going to lie because, you know, the, 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 there's Hamas in the hospital. The, the anchor said so. I, I don't know. I don't know. This guy, I remember when he was interviewing after Lee Bennett, the same, the same anchor Thanks. on the left. This guy, the black guy on Sky News, he was actually good with Naftali Bennett. Right? <laughs> he, he did a good interview. And I know, I know the British style of interviewing is to be very, you know, adversarial and so on. Fine, that's one thing. But the problem is not just that it's happening once or twice. The, 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 it's not adversarial. It's Israeli propaganda. I, can, I know that there's a difference. And, and this, this is not being adversarial for the, for the sake of just you know, um, challenging the guests. What are you going to challenge her on? Is, is, are you inviting, you know, a, a party politician? She's a doctor. Just ask her what she fucking saw. That's it. I, I mean, you know, because you're, you're being adversarial with someone who is an eyewitness. You're not, the, you don't go and be adversarial with them. You go and be adversarial with a politician. Right? This is unacceptable to me. Um, and and the, the, the framing of the questions is so telling of the so-called standard, if, if they even have one, at British uh, media 
outlets. It's really scandalous. I, I loathe it with all my fiber and being. I loathe and detest all British press, tabloids, uh, you know, print, radio, and television. They are the scum of the earth. The scum of the earth. Sorry, I, <laughs> I have to say it like this. I'm not picking on him. I'm picking on all of them. I'm picking on everyone. And those who don't see behind the scenes, the producers, so-called producers and editors, they, they are, they are, they go, you know what the Israelis do? They go and put Zionist agents in these positions. They will have someone, I'm not even saying Mossad, forget Mossad. I'm, I'm talking about just Zionists. They get, they get Israelis who are dual citizens to go and apply for these positions so that they, they get to the editorial level and then they influence the, um, the programming. And then, of course, what they do is they have the, um, you know, the, the British people, uh, they, they also curry favor with them so that even if they're not Israeli, they'll still be pushing Zionist crap. It, it's a complex thing. I don't want to talk about too much about that, but it, it, is, it is something worth unpacking because of how shocking it is. I mean, the, the buildings are reduced to rubble and, and, and you're coming and talking to me about Hamas. What, what do you... I, I don't want to hear about Hamas. I want to hear about Israel. Israel, we're in the hospital. The soldiers that were in this hospital are not Chinese or Indian or from Taiwan. They were Israeli. They're, they're Israelis. I mean, Taiwan and China are the same thing, but they were Israelis. So I want to talk about the Israeli soldiers who killed people, who carried out this destruction. Don't talk to me about other soldiers. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway. I'll show you this tweet from Chris Williamson, who is, you know, one of the only decent politicians in Britain. And he says that Israel must be dismantled. Its leaders must be tried for crimes against humanity. Its population must be de-Zionized. Its apologists within the political class must be removed from office. That's his response to what the Israelis have done to Al Shifa. And I couldn't agree more. And I love this word, de-Zionized. You know how the Germans had to be denazified after World War II? It didn't really work, but uh, nevertheless. <laughs> um, and, and the Austrians as well. So they say so. Uh, the Israelis also have to be de-Zionized. Because if they are to be integrated into any populace, be it in Palestine, if the Palestinians will accept them, or if they will, will, are to go back to Europe where they came from, they cannot be accepted into society when they are still Zionists. Just like Nazis cannot be accepted in a society. This is a red line. It's a red line. You know why it's a red line? Because Israelis do things like this. They, they carry out bloodbaths in hospitals. They are just like Nazis. They, they are Nazis. They're the same thing. That's why Zionists cannot be tolerated. They, Israel has no place in a civilized planet. At this point... And you could hardly blame me. I'm questioning whether you, the United States has any place in a civilized planet. Does the United States have the right to exist after what it has done with the CIA for the last 70 years? You tell me. I think the answer is no. And again, this is, uh, you know, th th because the idea that it's just a country. No, it's not a country. Look how it began. The United States, look how it began. They carried out similar massacres against the natives, the Native Americans. And then... The people running the country are banks, corporations, and the CIA. Is this a, an actor that, that deserves, that has the right to exist, you know, in a world community, in a civilized planet? I don't, I don't think so. Then again, if I ask that question, we have to then ask it about the UK. <laughs> Should put a wall up around the island. Don't let anyone, you know, no soldiers or any, <laughs> anyone leave. No, but seriously, uh, th this is really one of the worst uh, atrocities. And the atrocities that the Israelis commit are so big, they make you forget the last atrocity. You know, I, I almost forgot about the flower massacre, for example, and, and, and the massacres before that. And this isn't even the first massacre that they've carried out at this exact same hospital. So that, that's one of the features of the Zionists and the imperialists, is that, is that they make you forget their previous atrocities with every new one. They hit you with so many uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity that you, you lose your bearing. But we, we shan't do that, shall we?